Hello, everybody. Welcome to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. I'm Jim Powers, the voice of the Saints. Glad to have you with us as we get into full swing on the athletic side of things here at Maryville University and with our Monday coaches interviews. And starting it off is the volleyball coach, Christine Phillips. And what a great weekend for the volleyball program. And I know having within one point of winning the tournament, but still just an outstanding performance by the uh, volleyball team this weekend in the Invitational. Yeah, the girls did a great job, and we're excited about it. Good start, so looking forward to good things. You know, let's talk a little bit about the weekend. Obviously, start off 2-0 and on Friday, win the first one on Saturday, and then Minnesota Crookston, and you guys put on a five-set, you know, just a great game. And for somebody that doesn't know a whole lot about volleyball, it was a lot of fun to watch that last game. I'm glad it was fun. Um, <laughs> not so much fun maybe for us on the bench over there, but it was. It was a great game. The girls played played well you know we have some young ones and some old ones and just trying to get over the hump sometimes to win the big one you know I, we we were a little short but uh you know they fought well let's talk a little bit about the uh, the youngsters the new kids on the block and obviously a couple freshmen stepped up big this weekend they did and we knew they would so it's just kind of who they are and what they do and um you know it's part of the program that we've been excited for for a while and we know that we're you know taking big strides and big steps is every year you know, and then the veterans, obviously, Taryn Tubert, a great job in the middle. You get Hannah Michael out on the edge, and also Laura Welling had a fantastic, you know, weekend. But then, obviously, your libero out of the lamp and just really phenomenal stuff. Yeah, they did some good things. Uh, Taryn, yeah, set a great game. She did some nice stuff, mixed it around real well like she always does. And, and uh, Allie's just, you know, Allie. <laughs> you know, yeah. she gets everything, and everybody notices her, you know, I, it was no, it was no surprise that every team voted for her as we did the all conference or the all tournament ballot. But um, you know, one of those other ones too that kind of sneaks in is Abby, one of the freshmen, and so um, just solid all weekend. And when you have great defenders, it's it, you know it makes those good offensive teams not look quite so good because you can dig everything. And that's what I was going to say. It just really seems like the defensive side of things. It really lets you get into your offense. Got some great digs, but then you were able to get into that attacking style of offense that I know you love to play. Yeah, it's one thing to dig a ball. It's another thing to dig a ball to target <laughs> and yeah. to be able to run the offense. So we've worked for three years uh, on getting that happening. And, you know, my thing is obviously ball control and a fast offense. And we now have players that can make that happen. Let's talk a little bit about the teams that were here. You've got Minnesota Crooks, then you've got St. Joe's from the GLVC. But then you also had Kentucky Wesleyan, a former GLVC school, um, come in, and then also West Liberty. Kind of gauge those teams to, compared to what we're going to see in conference play starting this weekend. I think you're going to see teams a lot like uh, Crookston. You know, I, I just really do. You know, it's they're big, they're athletic, and that's what the GLVC is all about. So it's a good warm-up to kind of get going with that. St. Joe's look good. I mean, they're young, so and they have new coaches and staff. So, uh, you know, that's good as well. Um, Kentucky Wesleyan, you know, they've picked it up a little bit through the years. And so uh, so it was a great tournament to start. Absolutely. Well, big week this week. Obviously, the big non-conference rivalry game tomorrow night <laughs> against MOBAP. But then you jump headlong into conference play over the weekend. Let's let's start first off, talk about MOBAP. Well, MOBAP's good. I mean, they've got a couple Division One transfers walking in the door, so you know they're they're strong. They're always strong. You know, they're they're always at the top of the con uh, top of the actually in in the in the country as yeah. far as who they are NAIA wise. So, you know, that's a great start for us. We want to be able to. I wanted to try to start off with some good, solid teams before we get into conference play. And then conference play on the weekend, mm, yeah, you better be ready. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's going to be a fun weekend here at Maloney. And the crowd support was just absolutely phenomenal all weekend long, especially our Saints fans. And we had this, the, the students here. I mean, it was a lot of fun. It was a great atmosphere when we played over the weekend. It was. It was great to hear those fans cheer the girls on. And, and you know, they were excited and they really got into it. And I don't blame them. It was a great match. And so it was tight all the way through. And so it was one as long as that was fun to watch absolutely chris congratulations great weekend let's get a couple more this week we will try absolutely coach christine phillips joins us we'll have every volleyball match this weekend right here on saints vision on our brand new platform we hope everybody really enjoyed the new added features that we have put on to saints vision this year and it's a very exciting time for some of the upgrades that we've done also make sure you follow us on twitter at maryville saints and also on Facebook, just like our page, Maryville Athletics. For Coach Phillips, I'm Jim Powers. Glad to have you with us here on MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints.